Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another football video obviously being a football channel. This one I'm going to talk about VAR um, we've just literally had our first season in the Premier League with the VAR within place. I'm going to talk about how can we improve it for the 2020-21 campaign. It's one of them things that I think must be talked about I must really get people talking, especially for the teams like West Brom and Leeds that's coming up. And if I'm right, it is going to be in the championship for next season also too. But I want to talk about how can we improve the VAR. Having its first season, I know a lot of you fans are still annoyed about, you know, how it was used. I'm going to talk about what I've seen, not only in the UK, but also in Spain, Italy, USA, all that, and tell you how I use it with, and I think how I can bring it into the Premier League, but it's all covered up, so guys, let's get straight into this, guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, let's go. So, the first thing I want to talk about, do I think VAR is useful? Yes. VAR has been used quite a few times this season. Only thing I find disappointing with the VAR in the Premier League this season is the referees not going over to use it. You know, the VAR monitors. But, with the likes of forgetting that, I think it's had a good season within the Premier League. Okay, Mark got the odd decision decision wrong but that's not down to the VAR that's down to the people behind the screen speeding it up I think the crowd need to hear what's going on between the referee and the VAR assistant there's got to be some way in the modern technology that we can hear the VAR assistant and the referee without hearing all the jibber jabber going on between the referee and the linesman all the act. It does work in the NFL, it does work in cricket, so surely there's a way somehow. But how could we improve it? I think it could be massively improved if the referee used the monitors more often. If the referee's not sure, if the system behind the screen's not sure, call the referee over and get the on-field referee to make the decision. But, you know, with the likes of that in place, another way I think we can improve it is don't lie to the fans. And what I mean by that, if you remember the Sheffield United goal against Aston Villa that did not stand, that, you know, with they said about Mark Oliver said the goal line technology wasn't working, which we can't, we never know about that, we never will know about that, whether it was working or not. But when the VAR writes to, can't, I think it might have been Sky Sports, they said we can't call from the camera angles we've got, which is fine. But then in the rule book itself, and I found this really funny when it happened, but obviously not on the Sheffield United end, you should have had a goal. It says, we can move all the objects out of the way. Basically by objects, I mean the players. Now, if I could do that, which one is not correct? Was it the VAR can't see the camera angle from the camera angles I got? Or is it I can move all the objects? I know which one it is. I've seen it in football more than once within the Premier League and also abroad. But, you know, another way we could improve it, if the assistant can't work with the camera angle he's got, he should say to the referee, right, the one camera angle we're looking at, we can't make a shout, so we've got to go to a different camera angle. Don't sit there with a computer and say, right, look at this camera angle now, 
We can't call it, we're going to look at it again and again, and it, that's what takes up a lot of the time, where they just go from being, you know, a good uh, VAR assistant to a really annoying one. I really do think that VAR could be really big, big improvement for next season in the Premier League. I think it's got to be a seven in the Championship, though. And very annoying. But with the likes of, you know, got the VAR, we, it has got these improvements. I remember, well, I do remember a few decisions. I can't quite remember what teams they were. But I remember goals being offside and then counting because the player was actually onside when the ball was played. You know, it does have its upsides. I know a lot of it is on its downsides at this present in time. But with the light of the VAR, I'm still a fan of it. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. But I think with the 2020-21 season coming up, with the lights of, you know, we've seen it once, I do think there's got to be big improvements for the 2020-21 season. I'll just, throw, just give you a few out there. It frustrates me a lot where you're sitting there for about two minutes for a decision to be made. I've only got so many different camera angles. You can't be that long, surely. But, you know, with the likes of that, I, the other thing that frustrates me with VAR is the fact of... You know, you've got the lights of the um, the lines, and it's really tight off cycle. Now, this is another problem they got with the VAR, how they've been using it. Let's say the left foot was offside, but like players offside to the rules. But let's say his right foot was onside, and he hit it with his right foot. That goal should stand, in my opinion, because his right foot was onside, his left foot was off. But... You know, and the VAR has got to be deeply improved. It's like I said in my um, Premier League review table that the referees are not doing their jobs. They're not doing their jobs. Get rid of them because they're frustrating the fans. And without the fans, there is no football when we've seen that due to the pandemic. You know, how much the players are missing the fans. But you... With the referees, they really have. The Premier League come with a set of rules saying, right, every handball is going to be given inside the box, deliberate accidental. You've got to stick to that rule. You cannot then go to the VAR and go, oh, his arm was in a natural position, can't give it. No, you've got to give it. <laughs> I mean, but this VAR, I'm looking forward to it coming back. I think it will be in the 2021 season, but I also think it will be in the championship as well. But the referees need to bigly improve. And yet we wonder why none of our referees get called up for the big competitions like the World Cup or the Euros. But, you know, big improvement for the VAR next season, I want to see. And big improvement from the referees. No, I mean, I've seen one or two decisions this season where one of them be given for a handball. Saka and handball happen, but for a different team, they're not given. you got to give them all. But anyway, I just thought I'd make this video. Guys, let me know what you think about the AR in the comments below. Should it come back for the 2020-21 season, or should it not? Should it go away? Should they redevelop another thing and try and get that one working? Guys, as I said, put it all down in the comments below. I really am interested to know, to know your opinions. But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. And ciao for now.